Hi everyone, this is level two for your choral score quiz. I'm going to go over a few things that even my most advanced singers maybe just have never learned or sometimes forget. Okay? In the upper right hand corner of music, you can see the composer. So in this case, Paul Simon is the composer. He's the one who actually wrote the tune of the song. But beneath that, you see the arranger. The arranger is the person who takes the music and makes it more fitting to the ensemble that you're actually in. So instead of this song, Bridge Over Troubled Water, just being one vocalist, the arranger, Kirby Shaw, has taken the melody of Bridge Over Troubled Water and arranged it for four-part harmony, soprano, alto, tenor, bass. Similarly, if I was a band director, you might see um, the song Bridge Over Troubled Water composed by Paul Simon, but it might be arranged by someone else. If um, I want to have like an oboe part and a trumpet part, the arranger um, makes the song fit for whatever instrumentation you have. Um, also, I just wanted to go over this, uh, your bass clef, where your tenors and basses read, sometimes is referred to as F clef. You can remember this because the little bass clef symbol with the two dots centers around the F line. The treble clef, which sopranos and altos read, is sometimes referred to as the G clef because the little curly Q of the treble clef is around the G line. So if you ever hear those terms, now you'll know what they actually mean. Now I'd like to go over um, D, C, and coda. Uh, DC stands for da capo, which in, in Italian means um, like to the top. I remember this because capo looks like cap. You wear a cap on the top of your head. So when I see DC, I think da capo, cap. I go to the top of the song. So in this instance, I'm playing or singing. And I see DC al coda, da capo. I have to go back to the top. So I go back to the beginning of the song. And I continue to sing or play until I see this symbol, which is like a circle with like lines through it. That's the coda symbol. In Italian, the word coda means tail. So it's like go to the tail end of the song. When you see this symbol, you skip over to the tail end of the song. So one more time, a DCL coda is like this. You begin at the start of the song. You play through to the double bar. Then it says go back to the beginning. I go back to the beginning. When I hit the coda sign, I skip to the coda and play through to the end of the song. There's something that's similar to that, which is called a DS al coda. In this case, um, DS stands for oops, Dal Steno. I think I'm spelling that wrong, which means um, the sign. Um, I always tell my students DS is the sign, right? So if you're playing along, it says DS. Okay, go to the sign. So I go back, not to the beginning, but to this curly Q sign, which looks something oh, like this. Okay. And then I will play through until I bump into that coda sign again, the coda sign meaning the tail end. As a review, from the beginning, you go back to the sign, and then once you get to the coda sign, you skip to the end. One last thing I'd like to review is sometimes we refer to 4-4 four, four time as common time. Instead of seeing 4-4, four, four, musicians just write a C at the beginning of the music. If you see a C with a line through it, that's cut time. That's something totally different. But 4-4 four, four time can be C for common time. If you have a first and second ending in the song, you play through the song. Once you hit the repeat, you go back to the beginning. Okay. Now, since you're playing through for the second time, you skip this number one, and instead you move straight on to the number two. So you play through, then you go back to the beginning, you play through, skip first ending, and go to the second ending. Hopefully this reminded you of something, hopefully you learned something today, and bye.